Baby Cakes, Bray, and Lulzy. Well, on the opposite counterpart, blue side, we have FMM, Sela, Ademir, Gear, and JPL. All of these heroes and all of these players are starting with their own individual start without anything too crazy. Except for the fact that JPL doing JPL things decided to go straight into the enemy's jungle. Yeah, going in the back line, being going commando, but he's taking a lot of damage. RSG, I think Bray doesn't feel face at all. As the box here, you should be able to rotate from one jungle camp to the other very quickly. So Slate is hoping on that. Now, there's something that's breaking the MO right here. Lozi playing as that Estus. Definitely not something that we have seen at all. Very much well a pocket pick from Outlaw, from Lulzy, and definitely not something that I am expecting at all. This brings down their aggressiveness in the early stages of the game. This is more about the turtle composition. This is really all about their turtling up in order for them to scale over to the later stages of the game. Yeah, of course, for the member for the side of Slate, there is some form of Anso using that chill, but oh, yeah, Anso Bubble Force on top of Fire Fight this early on, but take a look at the amount of heals Lozi can provide. Final Fight doesn't really need to go back and reset. There's way too much sustainability all across the board from Slate to RSG. This game really boils down to who is able to survive any That's fight right. the longest. And even at this, at this point in time, it's kind of tough to answer the question. But once Estes is level, level 4, we know very well that RSGSG will have a massive, massive power spike in terms of that sustainability that I was talking about. As such, they can be a lot more aggressive in taking objectives, but they can't be over extensive. Yeah, but take a look at where Slate is now. The Jawhead, nowhere to be seen. Whereas RSGSG will take up this turtle absolutely free. Adamir using the ultimate to get on out. First turtle goes over to RSGSG, but Gear is already here. Unstoppable Force going in. Baby Cakes get tossed. Oh my goodness! FMM is the one that gets tossed instead. The Blazing Duet managed to kite FMM away, but Lozi, oh no, he is here. Gear on single. Oh, oh, hell. He's unable to connect on top of that. Gear, get out. Stop free. Just by a hair. It is really all about the positioning that uh, that Gear has put himself in. Definitely tough to put himself there. But of course, even though we are looking at the fact that both teams are still 0 to 0, there is still a lot of probabilities that we could be looking at, such as the difference in emblems and how that is going to be changing the game. Between the junglers, we're looking at Boxer that picked up the Demon Hunter, while on the other side from Team Slade, we have Gear that picked up Killing Spree. Yes. Killing spree, not the, the, uh, demon, demon Hunter, not high and dry. It is Killing Spree. He does want to move on from one place to another. A lot of quality of life changes into how he will play as this uh, Jawhead. Yeah, he will definitely want to use that Jawhead to dive in the back line, to jack one person. If that's a kill, he's able to go out. That's this Jawhead is playing more like an assassin. In the meantime, RSG, they're looking around at the bottom side. That is Diablo waiting in the bush, but he will be scouted out by the members of the team. The entirety of RSG, they would want to congregate themselves and of course get close to one another as soon as possible whenever the clot is online. But they also just can't move together too closely, especially since they do have a couple of heroes that can be pretty elusive and agile when it comes down to using movement skills, uh, namely Diablo. But Diablo, will, uh, knowing how Diablo plays, he's always going to be at the other side of the map and just oh. not going to be part of the oh, action. Ejector connects on number two and here here comes Sailor coming with the ultimate at the same time. Fire Fire is the one to pick up the first blood for now, and it's gonna be Sailor. Oh dear lord, taking down Lozi at the same time. FMM oh. on the other side of the Cosmo Tang attracted on top of Baby Cakes, but the fight is not over yet. JBL will get aggressive upon, but Diablo, oh no, he's here. He's, he's going here. in. I think he's trying to get Kabe, but FMM tried to kill for him. Will not be able to secure his teammate, though. But the members of RSG, they take a lot of kills, and also the turtle in the pocket. A 3 4 2 trade, and as, as RSG has managed to find themselves on top in terms of of value of kills as well as objective. A total of two turtles has been taken by RSG, putting themselves well over 2,000 gold on top of Slade. Game is definitely not over just yet, but with a peek on the items, we will have a better idea exactly what kind of composition that they're trying to go for exactly and what kind of game plan that they are heading into. Of course, you're looking at the items, you already see the phobias already going in that clock. That means that you know the phobias will need some time, and time is definitely what Slate needs. 
But right now, it's all focused about making sure that they don't give too much structures away to RSG, maintaining that gold lead as close as possible and catching up during the mid-late games of that fight. But of course, Bray, you know, RSG. Bray is rolling, man. He's going around the map, securing neutral objective. They're trying to get some, you know, mid-game pressure using on top of Diablo, but JPL looking for some pick up would not be able to find it. And e and for Slate, they need to go all in. Estes will heal it all the way up if you let him go, but okay, Diablo, Oh, he's in trouble though. Two members sticking on top of them. And no they're picking that up. No way that Diablo will be able to get away. Oh, no way, Jose, I gotta have to say. Bottom lane is now completely clear. And Slate now has an advantage with a pressurizing lane in the bottom. RSG would want to open up ways in order to punish the rotations coming in from RSG as much as possible. So whatever it is, RSG's movements have to be reactive to Slate. So far, Astis hasn't quite been in the crux of the fight most of the time because yes, he has been trying to go for baby sits. But as late, they are actively trying to avoid working working around Lolzi, especially since the, um, the Blessing of the Moonlight Goddess is a really pesky mechanism to deal with. Definitely, RSG, they're roaming S4 or 5 at the same time. Slate, on the other hand, spreading out the whole map like thin layered tire. They're not even giving any form of, you know, team fight opportunity for RSG. They're going around the side lane, sneaking up, ambushing. That's how State will be picking up here, but the flicker will be used. Fire will get kicked, but the members look at here. He's actually focusing on Turtle instead. Find a dash, what Turtle in the pockets of Eric State. But RSG, the amount of healing going all the way in. But Diablo coming in for the side lanes. It's going to be Sailor jumping on the fight, all fight for now. He's in a bit of trouble. He doesn't really have the purple shoes, no. but JBL will be one to fall. Trade it for Lozi. Not too much of an action from Slate. I mean, yes, they did manage to push out quite a bit of impact and they did manage to push all of the waves in from the top lane to the middle lane. RSG would have no choice and couldn't defend the top lane and they finally have brought something down. There is definitely going to be expecting to see that the Furvius moving around, sorry, not Furvius, the Esmeralda that moved around a lot more now that he has the unlocked already. Yeah, definitely has been unlocked and not only just that, look at the gold, both are equal for now. Slate and Slate has caught up in that gold, slowly crawling all the way back in. The priority by JPL, oh no, he comes in from the back line, he kicks Diablo, doesn't get it, the crossable tank gets activated and as right. Ray will get some fire as well. Lozi coming in to lend in some support, but it is going to be that Diablo goes down at the bottom lane. In the meantime, Ademir and Baby King. Baby King! Top lane. Oh no, that's nowhere you want to be. Unstoppable force to secure that kill at the top side as RSG. The, the side lanes are getting blasted. Of course, Gear, uh, no one pretty much knew that Gear was in of the brush. They really wanted to go for the fight. And of course, Baby King, knowing that he is a clone, he does have the art of thievery. And as much as possible, the uh, quick little switch with Dexter ought to get him out alive. But you gotta have to say, you gotta have to command it. Gear, he was being quite a ninja and no one expected that he was gonna be there. Yeah, the, the, the unstoppable force with the injector wombo combo is just so hard to deal with. And now RSG, they're losing the sideline pressure. RSG, they want to walk as five. They want to work together, but Slate is splitting them apart. But if you split this kind of composition apart, Lozi can't provide them healing and then, you know, RSG will just crumble. Slate, they do have a lot of movements around the map. You know, a lot of mobility. Such RSG will find it a little bit of difficulty in order to get themselves into the team fight that they really wanted. As such, turtling themselves out as much as possible, allowing the front line to actually take up some tank as far as possible. As such, they actually need Diablo in most of these fights, and they don't. They will lose all the invisible pressure that they are very used to having. Grouping themselves up like this, not exactly part of their game plan, but perhaps this time we may be able to see a difference, and the difference may be impactful. Starting it off, Bray is just oh. going to be dancing oh. around. The Oh, oh, going into crossbow time. Firefight will be one. And Sailor follows you all the way up. The ultimate just but Lozi. He's healing. He's making Sailor all the way back. But it's gonna be Firefight picking up Mega Kill as well. JPL kicks Firefight to the wrong side of the map. Two members down for the side of say RSG trying to fight for a fighting chance. The blazing the way go all the way in. Doesn't even connect on top of FMM for now. But RSG, this is the good fight for them. Diablo puts himself into the faces of the enemies. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Not hold over Bray. Oh, no, Gear, yeah, where do you come from? Unstoppable force on top of Bray. And then all of a sudden, you don't really have a retribution. And Snake will run away, perhaps, with a lord. And the mirror, he still wants to push his attack up into the top lane and try to put, uh, put on more pressure on the opposite sides of the lane. They know that they don't really have the opportunity to take up the lord anymore. 
but Gear, he's still somewhere around the map. Yeah. Gray, he did go down by the hands of Gear after all, so the lot going down is understandably still gonna be it, despite having some of this advantage. Yeah, but there, but RSG, they're not out of the woods just yet. This Lord is still a baby Lord, but FMM is responding to the RSG push at the bottom side. It is baby cakes that need the farm and starts to need to split push. Yes, he's as as fluid, flexible and as fluid as Diablo, but then again, do you really want to sacrifice a clot to split push like this? 10 minutes and 40 seconds into the game, we are starting to see players starting uh, to get to get kind of got ramped up with mm -hmm. three items and or four. Especially when it comes down to one one, four items has already been built up. The counterpart oh is God. going to be the clot, which only have three full items built up. Well, both of these marksmen do have win of nature for themselves, so it really comes down to skill-based strategy and, of course, how they would want to eventually put up a fight. RSG's way of putting up a fight is that they will always want to put someone in the front yeah. lines in order to tank as much as possible, putting Grey or Diablo as the bait. Whenever they realize that, look, no. Sailor is coming in, they do have the mobility, they will rush down or rather rush backwards in order to split Sailor away from the rest of the team. Oh, and that is Edimir. where they will single Edimir. one person out. Edimir, the slow coming in for the final fight. Edimir will be able to walk on away just now, but Conceal play going in. JP are looking for some pickup Firefly in the victim, but he's going to be Firefly using the purple shoes. And FMM, he shut down Firefly. And now the Lord is still standing. RSG, they need to try to defend using Estus, the blessing of the Moon Goddess gear. Looking for some pickup. JPL going all the way back in the front line, but Toxic Sailor all oh. the way to the front line instead. Slate will focus on the turret instead. And Man Sailor just racking half against the back line. But RSG, they are split up. Slate right now on a bit of hell. Diablo trying to make, make something work, but Sailor jumps into the air and misses. Diablo for now, but Lose is desperately healing for RSG trying to hold FMM. Wind of Nature coming back in RSG, they will not be able to pursue. A steady push coming in from Slade, despite the fact that it only had three person and all of them were all on critical health. The top lane inhibitor turret ultimately went down, and the Slade tried to buy even more time in order to push down the bottom lane and the middle lane all by themselves automatically. Slade have got a total of seven turrets taken down already, and RSG, they are definitely having some difficulties. 3,000 gold dif uh, deficit from them, and the best that they can do right now is open up the map as much as possible in order to flush out where JBL oh. is. They need to deny all of this map control. They need to ensure that Slade doesn't have their uh, eyes on them. Yeah, JPL has been seeking all this information, right? Being so annoying to deal with JPL is super slippery. Like, it's like fish. You're trying to hold it, but it keeps running away. And speaking about the fish, he catches Ray all the way back in. And I think he activated the crossbow attack. Ray is under the middle of damage. And now the mess of the mess for side RSG. They have to force the wind to chunk it. Now FMM, oh, it's going to be a one by one. But Edimir is asking, where are you going to go? The blazing the wind, a defensive one. But Sela will be able to oh. shut Baby Cakes down, giving the double kill. And now Slay, five man strong versus RSG, two Man only and slay. They do can go for the Lord. They can also go for the end. They are definitely going to the end. Slade only have two person to deal with, and it doesn't seem like oh, they're the going in. Much. Diablo nowhere to run. It's just Losi left in the base, and Slade they will pick up game number one.